So, I've just drawn all the background stars. Now I'm ready to sketch the object itself. Now you'll see why the background is so immensely important while sketching the object itself. Especially when the object's very large and complex. Uh, like for example M17, the Swan Nebula, which I'm going to use as an example. To show you how it's done, I'm going to copy this sketch that I've made earlier. First, we're going to draw the contours. And the background stars are, of course, of great help to determine where exactly the contours of the object are. So, let's start. Always use soft pencil strokes just like this and use your thumb or fingers to blur the hard lines. This. Then we're going to fill out. Try to avoid the stars and leave a blank circle around them. This will make it look a lot more realistic. Stars are bright points that tend to hide the nebulosity around them. And this is exactly what we're going to, to mimic here. So, like this, we're going to draw around them as much as we can. Okay. So don't be afraid to exaggerate. Uh, we're going to correct everything later during the elaboration process on the PC. Finally, we're going to add the internal structures, and again, don't be afraid to exaggerate. It is important that you sketch very clearly every single filament that you see. Later, during the elaboration process on the PC, we're going to make everything look as realistically as possible.
sketch is now ready. And if you're happy with it, you could just as well stop here. But personally, I wouldn't. I would take this to the next level. Elaborate it on the PC. If you want to know how to do just that, well, watch my next video. Bye for now.